it's Akhti Sachte from Mesmerize Makeup and I'm sure you've never seen me with a dark lip before. I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time now and I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm basically sporting um, the lip color of the year. It's been around for more than a year actually and all the actresses, most of them are sporting this on the red carpet. This particular lip color is called Marsala or Marsala. I, I, Genuinely, I promise you, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, Marsala, Marsala, Marsala sounds so bad, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you know Hindi, you'll know what I mean, but yeah. So anyway, this look is all about the lip and the winged eyeliner, and um, I'm wearing gray contact lenses, you guys, and for some reason, my eyes are very blurry. I couldn't see what I was doing throughout the video. I was like, my gosh, I can't see anything. So yeah, so forgive me if um, in some of the clips I'm just like looking blank. <laughs> So I'm starting off by applying the Inglot Nail Polish in the shade 926. This is a gorgeous color and it's always better to apply two coats to get that impact. Next I'm using a primer. This one's by Benefit and it's called Porefessional. As you can tell, it's ideal for people with open pores, craters, spots, acne. It kind of blurs it out and gives this illusion of a more smooth, even surface on the skin. Next I'm using the Bobbi Brown foundation. I'm totally obsessing over this at the moment. This is shade number 4.5. I'm going ahead with a stippling brush and dabbing it on. And I'm not really going in circular motions, but I'm just dabbing it, as you can see. By dabbing it, it really helps to, you know, push the product into your skin. And especially when you want to cover a spot, it's always better to dab the product in. Next, I'm using Cinema Secrets. This is also a foundation. I'm using a shade close to my skin to just camouflage all the spots. I'm using this as a concealer because it's pretty thick. I'm dabbing it around my eyelids as well. And using the beauty blender a damp beauty blender and just softening that i felt like this wasn't enough to hide my dark circles because i've been having quite a few late nights so i decided to use the derma concealer in d5 this is a really effective concealer it's quite thick so make sure you use a beauty blender because that really thins the product out next i'm using the la girl pro concealer and i'm just going to map out the contours of my face i know this looks really scary but I would suggest um, give it a shot. Maybe if you're going out, don't try it. If you're chilling at home and if you have spare time, just draw lines across your forehead, your hollows of your cheeks, sides of your nose, and then take the blending brush and blend it all out. Remember, you don't want to give too much time. You want to just do it immediately so that it's easier to blend and it doesn't become stubborn and create patches on your skin. After this step, I will look a little bit baked, <laughs> but we will correct that with powder. Can you see how it's created some depth on my face, the contour? I'm just setting my face with normal compact powder. I'm also going to go ahead with the same powder and apply it around my under eyes so that I don't get too many lines. This is a warm amber shade from Jordana. I'm accentuating the contours of my face, sides of the nose, hollows of the cheeks, um, forehead and of course jawline to hide the double chin. And now coming to eye makeup, always start with eyebrows. This is my favorite VOV eyebrow kit. You have to apply a little bit of water, take an angular brush and just fill it in the same direction as your hair growth. Next, taking the Inglot eyeshadow base with your fingertips, go ahead and apply a light layer. All you have to do is literally just dab it on. I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. This is the shade called Bronze. I'm just creating a subtle highlight on my brow bone and I'm also going to be applying a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of open it up. Next, this is a shade called Copper Plate from MAC. It's a matte grey shade. So I'm going to be applying this on my eyelids with a flat brush and I'm just stamping it on. Next, taking a blending brush, I've taken a warm brown color and this I'm going to be applying on the crease of my eyes. Basically, right above my eyelid just to soften the eyeshadow out, I'm going ahead with the brown. 
This is my all-time favorite gel eyeliner. I'm so excited. I just bought a brand new one. Um, this is the Inglot gel eyeliner. And I'm going to be winging it out, creating a bold effect. The brush I'm using is a Faber-Castell 00 brush, by the way. <laughs> I love how thin it is and it's so effective. I've had it for years and it's amazing. Can you see how I'm filling that out right at the edges? So guys, all the products are given below in the description box. Next, I'm taking the brown pencil from Asauda and I'm just applying it at the bottom and I'm also filling it into my waterline. I don't want the bottom to be black because then it'll be quite heavy. Taking Embark from MAC, this is a brown eyeshadow and I'm just applying it so that it doesn't smudge. Every time you set your kajal with eyeshadow, it will stay in place for really long. Next, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply a generous coat of mascara. You can go for false lashes, but I skipped the step because I was a bit lazy. <laughs> if you're going for New Year's Eve, I would highly suggest you apply false lashes. It looks stunning. Next, for my lips, I'm using an Oriflame lip pencil called Smoke Red and I'm just lining my lips and I'm also filling them in so that it stays in place. And now a beautiful shade from MAC called Diva. This is actress Rekha's go-to shade you guys. It's so beautiful. On my cheeks I'm using bronzing glaze. This is a blush from Colourbar. Just applying it on the apples. And on my cheekbones, I'm using the highlighter from Bobbi Brown, the same one using my index finger, going in circular motions on the bone. It looks so beautiful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. comment and let me know whether you think I look better with brighter lipsticks or deeper lipsticks. I'd love to kind of get a survey. <laughs> anyway guys, follow me on Snapchat. My username is called Akati Sachdev. I'm pretty active. And on Facebook and Instagram, my username is Mesmerize Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And if you haven't checked out my other videos, do click on the links. Thanks a lot. Bye!